in the first two games. I expect nothing less here in game number three. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Caulfield's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Here's the official call. This is a real tough way to come out of the gate, the onset of a game. You want to get everyone into it. You want to get momentum rolling, and now you're killing a minor. Montreal sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Musico Potter into the offensive end now. Broken up by Doc. From the left side, they gain the zone. Dumps it in. Quick feed to Caulfield. Retrieves the puck, try to kickstart this power play. Musa quickly over to Suzuki. Poked away in the defensive end. Quick feed to Line. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Canadians will serve two for slashing. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Takes it in front, and that's intercepted. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. The Penguins will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Big time stop there. Now he slides it up to Crosby. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Dvorak's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets the puck in deep. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. And he hangs on to the puck. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. to the puck for a face-off. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Crosby's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And he turned that one aside. And he takes the feed. Takes the shot. Oh, a clutch save! Levels him with the hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Pittsburgh's in on the offensive attack now. Dishes it off! Big time stop! Montembeau's in it to win it here. I mean, you can see it with that save. He tracks and he's so dialed in. It's a competitive nature to challenge the shooter in the slot. Cooley's got it in the defensive end. Evans plays it against the boards. Malkin's looking to break out from behind his own net. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a shot from a tough position. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, we're still scoreless. Hayes has won the faceoff. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. 
The Canadians gain control of the puck. Centering field! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! It's in the back of the net! He scores! We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position, net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time, it winds up in the back of the net. Montreal's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Quick shot! A simple stop with the glove by Montembeau. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Can't maintain possession. Feeds it over. Here he is from the slot. Taken by Suzuki. Sends the pass over. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Puck sent over to Carlson. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Good heads up play to bat it down on the ice. Pittsburgh's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Answered the call there. Solid hit on the play. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You gotta find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. The Canadians once again send out their power play unit. When the power play isn't working, you have to adjust. You got to get net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And what it does is it also draws defensive coverage to you. More traffic in front, more lanes open for the shooter. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Cover it, cover it. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Moves into the slot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chari. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Ellers ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And a successful clearing attempt. Scrum ensues along the boards. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Shot! Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. Montreal's trying to push the play and extend their lead here, but they're unable to do it. Puck puck doesn't go their way, and they hit the frame and out. Quick pass to Evans. The Penguins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. And the puck's kicked free. The Canadians don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Hayes' penalty is about to expire. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Canadians have taken a 1-0 lead. The Penguins win the draw on their own end. And that's taken away at the offensive end by Line. Sends it in on the attack. Slides the puck over. Moves it to top. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Latang. The Penguins have it now. And he takes the feed. Slides the puck across to top. Great heads up play with the stick by Grislyk. 
Takes the pass. Oh, he'll feel that one. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Risky play with the paddle, but it works. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Matheson. Here they come on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Raquel. Gaining momentum up along the side. And that pass attempt is deflected. And now he moves it quickly to Graves. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Quick feed to Raquel. Here they come on the attack down the right side. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Let's it go. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Tosses it to Caulfield. Jabs the puck away. The Penguins have it now. Graves carries the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Hayes. Denies him! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. He's got to get to the top of the three square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. The Penguins are going to work here in the offensive zone. in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Just moments away from puck drop for second period action. And we are underway here in the second period. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Montembeau's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. And he gets in front of the slot shot to make the save. And he slides it quickly to Caulfield. That's a smart heads-up defensive play by Pedersen. The Penguins are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Suzuki. Odd man rush. The Canadians will play it against the wall. Love save made by Jari. The Penguins can't afford to get rattled here early in this second period. They've had more shots on goal, yet they still trail. The Canadians win the faceoff. Receives the pass. Tries it to the crease. Good save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. Lays out the block. Now can he get up? Oh. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Shuts him down. Can't hang on after that hit. Quick shot. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Levels him with the hit. Here comes the officials' decision. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. They move the puck out of harm's way. Play rolls 
glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's all tied up. The Canadians win possession here in the open ice. Now over to Caulfield. Quick pass to Samar. And that's off a stick. Solo check to slow him down. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. O'Connor's lugging the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. And that goes off the glove and will play on. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Sends it into the offensive zone. The Penguins have the puck now. And they send it right back to him. Montreal's got the puck. Puts it on that. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Through center along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Pacetta. Poked away in the offensive end. From one end of the blue line to the other. A chance from the slot. One time blast. And that's blocked away. Poked away at center ice. Bumped off the puck. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Great glove save! And he coughs it up with the pass. Big save in front. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Cut grab by Devora. Gallagher's stick handling in his own zone. Throws it in. The Penguins have it against the wall. And here's the pass to Crosby. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's a shot. Oh. Scores! Absolutely critical finish on the breakaway. All the way down the ice, James. The ability to get away from the back. Look over his shoulder, know where everyone is, and then that clean finish. Unbelievable goal. What a counterattack and brilliant speed to get on his horse and get in on the breakaway, James. And that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Montreal's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. The Habs take possession in the defensive end. Picked off! The Penguins have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. And that stopped. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. There's a chance in front. A new pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Great positioning in the defensive end. Way mark of this period. The Habs are looking to build on this one goal lead. And they win the draw here in their own end. Savard's taking it from his own end. Charge to the paint! The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends the puck across. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Shuts them down. 
This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Here we go, odd man Make rush here. Excellent stick work on the play. And he takes the dish. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Rocked him right against the boards. Well, he's up and along the wall, and there is no give, James. And that was just a thunderous hit. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Waterfalls going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. In the final moments of this period, Montreal's got a slim lead. They lead it 2 1. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff. Here's a blast. Score! have been pressing and they finally get rewarded for that goal. They get rewarded and now they can't sit back. They have to continue to attack and look to go ahead. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Canadians carry it along the wall. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Now a quick pass to Beauvillier. Moves it to Suzuki. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Canadians now have the lead here in period number three and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead. So you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents. So continue to hold it, continue to apply the pressure. And he loses his check with a spectacular move. And that pass goes off a stick. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. Why? You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Montembeau's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Penguins are looking to get back into this one, trailing early in this third period, despite having the better scoring chances. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. And a great save! Slides the puck across to Line. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Oh, tremendous glove save by Chari! 
What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. We're still in the early stages of this period. Montreal's got the momentum with a one goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Puck scooped up by Grislyk. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Raquel. Takes the bump but hangs on to the puck. Looks to make a play over to Line. Moves it to the middle. Moves it again. And scores! What an opportunity! It delivers! On today's game, everything shuts down so quickly. Ice closes so quickly, and he is left all alone to be able to walk into that clapper, and he tags it right past the goaltender. You can see the frustration on the coach behind the bench here. His team didn't come ready to play, and nothing he says or does makes a difference right now. Montreal's got another one here early in this third period, extending the lead to two. Yeah, the sticks might get a little bit looser and lighter right now, but they've got to make sure that that doesn't free them from their defensive responsibilities. Listen, a third period is a third period. You know your opponent's going to be urgent, and you have to find a way to close it out. Denied by the defender. unconventional way to get here with this two goal advantage in the third yeah their opponent has certainly had more shots than they have but listen when you execute you find a way to get to the middle of the ice and you look at the opportunities and capitalize this is what happens the canadians play it along the wing there's the whistle let's get the call from the officials braves is nabbed for the slash on the play Canadians send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Now over to Hayes. Looking to make something happen at center. Quick pass to Benstrom. Montembeau's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Chase right in front. Fantastic save. Moves it to Slavkovsky. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And the play on his act gets a piece of the ground. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Turns that one away. Scrum along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Carlson. 
moves it quickly over to Slotkowski. The Penguins get a hold of the puck under man. Bergstrom's gonna play it against the half wall. And the puck breaks out with them. Montembeau has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Graves gets back out onto the ice. Finding ways to get it done, James. That's what the PK unit does here, and they give their team life as they're still within reach of this game. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. Slides the puck down low. And he's got the answer for that one. Montembeau's got the puck and he's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Pittsburgh's gotta be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. The Penguins will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Great save by Montembeau. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Oh, what a save in front! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Montreal's got it now. And that goes off, pours off a body. Quick pass over to Rust. Great read by Suzuki. Good eyes on the play. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Into the offensive zone. Here's the pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Oh. Angles it over to LeCang. Puts it on down. He scores! On the back he buries it. Now, we've seen this all from him, James. The goaltender can't get a good read on the backhand. And as a result, this one finds the back of the net. Well, you always know that he's looking for his coveted spot to deliver the backhand snipe, James. And this time, he doesn't miss. Just fooling the goaltender with that disguise shot. The Penguins find exactly what they were looking for, a goal here late in the third. And this is why the big players, your star players, get paid the big bucks to deliver at the end of the game. And this is going to be a nail butter, James, as you can feel the energy on both sides. Moves the puck across to Anderson. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And now it's over to Grizzly. And that's poked away. Quick feed down low. Comes up with the steal. From the left side, takes the pass. They've got numbers here. Here's a shot. Oh, what an opportunity, but it just goes a little higher than that. Well, when you're in the Ozone and you have possession, you're trying to create numbers. They do such a great job of getting to the net. And that opportunity ensues. Montreal's got it in their own zone. At this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. You gotta find a way to make a good puck decision. Get it in deep. Don't give up anything offensively. Muffs the shot attempt. Montembeau's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out-battle, when you out-will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. And he feeds it down to top. Picks it up, and they turn the Penguins have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. And it's a quick pass to O'Connor. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. Slides the puck ahead to Savard. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Takes the feed up ahead. Knocked away. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Comes up with the stop. Pittsburgh's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. The Canadians take it along the wall. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Canadians take possession here in the open ice. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Ajo. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. The goaltender covers up and will get a face off. They've got the extra 
attacker out there and show me what this means. Uh, they have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They have to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Steps in and takes the puck. Montreal's in transition. Fires it down the ice. Oh, and it misses the net. And he's pulled over the fires to the empty net. And that'll do it for ringside here. A complete team effort tonight, and as a result, Cheryl, they've gone up in the series. Yeah, it's got to feel good to go up in the series and have a leg up on your opponent. Now it's about continuing to do exactly what got you into this position. Continue with the good habits and continue to press. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.